Let us continue with our lesson and today we'll be learning about the Kotlin inheritance. So let's go and see in a theoretical way what is an inheritance in Kotlin. Inheritance is a mechanism in which one object, you can see one object, acquires all of the properties and a behavior of a parent object. So the keyword over here is a parent object and which means that Whenever we are doing some inheritance, like let's say one object is inheriting from another object, then it will be inheriting all of the properties as well as behavior of its parent object. So here let's take an example of on car. And when we have a car, the car has certain properties. So let's say a car has a property of color. Color is of red and it has some behavior let's say a car can drive so behavior of the car is it can drive and a property let's say it has a color of a red color so let's say whenever we want to inherit from this parent class or a car class let's say we want to inherit let's say we have another object of a type of bmw and this bmw want to inherit from a parent class of a car so whenever we inherit from a car class then we are inheriting its properties let's say color and a behavior of a drive so here whenever we have another object let's say of bmw that is we can call it as a child class or a child object and the class from where we are inheriting that is a parent so class Car class is a parent and a BMW class is our child. And uh, it is an important part of a uh, OOPS subject, which means that it's an uh, important part of an object oriented programming system. And the idea behind the inheritance is that you can create a classes that are built upon uh, existing classes. And when you inherit from an uh, existing class, you can reuse the method and fields of the parent class. So we have already created one class as a car. And let's say we have a child class of a BMW, Mercedes, Ford, Ferrari. So we may have a different, a lot of child class and we can inherit the properties and the behavior of our parent class, which is a car class and implement that method and fields in our child class. So we can make use, reuse our code. So we write once in our car class, then we inherit in our subclass like a BMW, Mercedes. We can in inherit all of this in our multiple class. And the inheritance presents the each or relationship. So if you notice over here, we have a each or relationship, which is also known as a parent and a child relationship so how do we make uh, each other relationship so let's say we have a car of a bmw and uh, we have a parent class of a car so when we say that car each or sorry bmw each or car mercedes each or car fraud each or car right so there each a each or relationship between so car the we we have a bmw and a car so bmw is a car that means that it has a some kind of relation which is a each or relationship and that is also known as a parent and a child relationship and why do we use inheritance is for a code reusability and another one is method override so the code reusability over here means that we have implemented all of the methods and fields in our superclass or a parent class which is of car and we can make use of same method and a code in our child class so we don't have to rewrite all of the things that we have already implemented in our parent class we can just make use of it and also offer method override and uh, this, may, this may be a bit confusing at a first time, but uh, when you actually go and do it practical in a practical way, and uh, when you practice it, 
you will have more understanding about what actually inheritance means and what actually it does and how does it help in object-oriented programming. So let's meet up in the next lecture and let's see it in a practical way how to create and make use of inheritance in Kotlin. So let's meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.